In pockets of downtown Portland, the fight to revive the city is on full display. I think the downtown feels a lot better. It definitely there are more people down here. Many of them tourists, like Jenny Kaplan visiting from New York. I love it. I love it. It's like laid back, laid back city. But as Brianna Miller puts it, she works and lives downtown. It all depends on where you look. I think it's got a lot of issues to deal with still. And the state is doing just that. We've just had our first meeting of the Portland Central City Task Force. Governor Tina Kotek launched the Portland Central City Task Force two weeks ago to create a plan on how to better the city when it comes to issues like homelessness, drug use and crime. It's made up of about 40 people, including downtown business owners and city leaders. They met for the first time on Tuesday. There's a sense of urgency in this group. We are here to make progress, build on good things that are happening and be very clear that at this moment, we can't just talk about things, we have to do things. As for what those things are, Governor Kotek was slow to share. Well, I would just say stay tuned, just yeah. the first meeting, um, but we're hoping to have updates as we go along. Portland Mayor Ted Wheeler is also on the task force. Mayor Wheeler did make opening comments. Followed by a list of requests, including $21 million to fund his mass sanctioned homeless camps, along with more money for homeless camp sweeps and a sobering center. I am aware of his um, set of recommendations. One of the things that we need to remember is no one government, whether it's the city of Portland, Multnomah County, or the state, or even a governor or a mayor, is going to solve all the challenges facing downtown Portland. There is nobody in this room that wants to sit in another meeting to think about something we may do in 2025. Lisa Schroeder runs Mother's Bistro downtown and is on the task force with a focus on community safety. For me, it's the drugs. I believe that fentanyl and methamphetamine is killing downtown Portland. So my quest is to uh, deal with that and how it's affecting the city. So there is urgency here. A lot of people, Blair, want to see action. When can we expect to see some results? So while we don't have the exact details of what was discussed today in the meeting, mm -hmm. Governor Kotek believes that what will come out of this task force will have a ripple effect on the rest of the state, seen as Portland is a hub for businesses and tourism. And the task force is up against a tight timeline. Come to some December, so roughly three months from now, the task force will present an action plan for downtown. But until then, they're going to meet every month. Month. Well, I know they're going to be looking for not just action, <laughs> right. but results. You right. heard it right there, right? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Blair.